Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at the Moto My UI version 6, which is based on Android 14 for our Motorola H20 Pro, which is also codenamed as P Star. So, without wasting more time, let's take a look at it. So, guys, this is the My UI 6 Android 14 version uh, on our uh, Motorola H20 Pro. Uh, I hope My UI 6 is only Android 14. Sorry for that. So, this is the Android version 14, as you can see. Uh, let's go inside this is the upside down cake uh, easter egg and this is the android security update uh, 1st february uh, 2024 so guys starting with the home screen and this is the home screen you also get the app tray uh, actually get an option so when you go to home settings into here home screen style you get an app tray option and also an open option but i love the app tray option the traditional one so yeah you can also go inside here Okay, we have to switch. I'll also show you settings you get. Free arrangements and autofill. So it will autofill apps. So as you can see, this has been set to free arrangement. I guess, yes. Now, if you install any app, it will just keep, in, keep on adding it. And if you remove any app, it will not fill the space. And when you click on auto adjustment, it will give you a neat uh, app drawer like thing for this one. So I'll just go back and set to default. Also show you the app trace settings and this is all the suggestions and app icons and I keep it disabled. So yeah, that's why the uh, options are disabled. Now in the left, you get this my screen. You can also configure it to Google feed or like just nothing blank or like no action at all. So as you can see, we get the small widgets and you can also configure them here. You can add and uh, you know, remove them. Yeah, it, it's upon your choice. So it's not that much of a deal. So guys, this is the app drawer and you get a lot of stock apps from Motorola, uh, from Motorola China because this is based on Motorola My UI Chinese firmware. So yeah, and you know, you might get some Chinese apps so you can disable them easily. Also guys, GMS like the Google Play Store is disabled. So once you boot up, you will get this notification that Google Play services is disabled and to use those services, you have to enable them. Just click on that, enable Google Play services and G, uh, your Play Store will be there into your app drawer. Then you can sign into your Google account easily and install all apps. Also guys, Magisk is pre-installed. So if you want, you can just click on that and then follow the steps. Click on yes. Again, it will reboot. Then again, yes. Uh, it will just install it properly and it will reboot and there we will, you will get a Magisk properly installed. And we also have Dolby Atmos and Moto Camera Magisk module, which is really easy to install. First, we have to go into Magisk, into modules, and then the zip you have to install from storage. Click on that and reboot device. So that's really easy. All the links are provided in the description, so you don't have to worry about anything at all. Also, guys, let's take a look at the inside the, the settings now. Going into settings here, you can see login into Lenovo account. I don't know. Like last time I installed a ROM, it did not go with the uh, sign in process. Like, I don't know if it's really mandatory to sign in, but yeah, if you have an account, you can sign in. Then just some basic stuff, Wi-Fi network, uh, connected device, personalize. You will get this way, uh, the Motorola personalization window, and you can customize a lot of stuff as you can see, uh, icon shape. Then we have this uh, icon size, uh, uh, display size and text, then the layout. And this is, uh, you know, you can go up to lowest 5 to 7, which really makes it too small for those apps. So I prefer 5 to 5. Then we have sounds, then we have dark mode, and you can also set it to transition mode. So it will just move it according to time. Then we also have this uh, edge screen, edge light, and a lot of functions, which we will later discuss. Icon packs, we have the Moto Adaptive and the Moto, which is set by default. And colors, you can customize the colors. You can also get themed icons, fonts. We have a lot of fonts. Uh, sorry, not a lot. Like we have five fonts. Sorry for that. Into themes, we have this custom made themes by default. And into wallpapers, we have these static wallpapers, which really look good on our device with AMOLED display. As you can see, live wallpapers are also there. You can also get your photos. We have Zedge. Oh, oh sorry. That Zedge is my... Uh, custom app which I used to get wallpapers and ringtones sorry for that then let's move down into display into display we have a dark theme adaptive brightness display refresh rate uh, the maximum is 165 if you set that you will get the 144 hertz 
uh, which is your maximum uh, supported refresh rate but sometimes uh, when, you know when i'm using any app which has a totally black uh, background uh, it will like start glitching so i have set it to 120 you can also use 120 or 144 it's not much of a difference but if you really like 144 then maybe this rom is a problem for you then flicker prevention and this flicker prevention does not uh, prevent that kind of flicker it's something else so yeah we have sleep timer up to like 10 minutes and never to then three finger screenshot all these are the moto gestures and we also have these two swipe to split and moto connect inside the display so yeah in the home screen and lock screen options we get these functions let's move into home screen and this is the launcher settings and all that stuff in status bar you can configure these icons system icons also you can enable or disable then we have control center which is a new type of uh, you know quick settings addition here uh, if you click on the left side like swipe down you will get this notification and from the side you will get this new quick settings layout if you want the older one the classic style you can just choose this and as you can see you have the classic style so there's no need to worry about that then let's move out here we have lock screen customizations a lot of options are here into the lock screen we also have the screen signature which is available at the bottom then we have the wake device and this does not work like only the moving the phone works so i don't know why tapping the uh, display does not work put the device to sleep oh i like i have seen this feature for the first time after installing this rom like i was really searching for that so let's see if it works okay it works fine so that's nice like the less the power button usage the more i like the rom as you can see yeah it works fine also guys face lock works as you can see <laughs> yeah i'm using face lock continuously so guys now inside the gestures tab we have the system navigation gesture as you can see the gesture navigation swiping up and all that then we have the three button traditional one then we have the sidebar and the sidebar has as you can see the apps and tools you can also configure them apps tools and we also have contacts so these are the tools uh, we get for quick uh, opening them then one handed mode swipe to split all these moto gestures are available double tap uh, all this uh, like the basic google gestures also we have this one more addition air call accept so yeah if you want you can use that and pick up to silence and flip for dnd which i really like i always use this so this is also really nice then we have mac system theme uh, system engine sorry and you can configure it according to what profile you want like if you are going to gaming then you can use this uh, turbo mode and if you want really your battery to be saved you are just going to use some normal apps then battery saving is really good for you then battery and performance you have charge boost optimized charging overcharging uh, power sharing won't work because we don't support that feature obviously and then coming back we have screen time which gives you a lot of uh, details regarding your screen time and also you have a lot of options daily limit app limit focus mode then downtime and we also have block page format so these are a lot of options and you can you know go inside and check all of them this is really nice into security we have all the security features fingerprint face lock into more security you have these uh or like just lift to unlock so yeah let's move system updates and don't do anything here even if you get an update because this is obviously a custom rom so there won't be any you know custom updates right through the ota and this is uh, your normal system and we have moto mover if you want to you know move from your last phone uh, it says upgrade i don't know if i have to upgrade or not let's see let's click okay it is opening some chinese so uh, chinese thing so let's just quickly ignore that we also have ram boost so we get additional 4 gb minus the 8 gb variant i don't know how it works on the other variants but yeah you can get 8 to 20 uh, 8 to 12 and quick app launch and yeah that's uh, pretty much it for this uh, all the features which are loaded into this uh, my ui 6 based on android 14 let me clear all the apps oh my god a lot of them yeah that's perfect so guys this is a really stable build of my ui 6 ported with android 14 on our moto h20 pro so i recommend you guys try this rom out also uh you know i will leave the link of the xd thread if it's available and the download link in the description and all the installation instructions i'm going to show you but also put it in the description so if you want a quick install you can just go to the description and follow the process so 
now let's move towards the installation process if you already know you can just skip that part and like that's the end of the video after installation so yeah let's move towards the installation for that you have to power off your device also guys make sure you have usb debugging turned on or else it might cause uh, some problems with the installation so yeah let's continue so guys for the installation part you will need a pc a usb cable and obviously your device <laughs> like yeah jokes apart let's start with the installation so press the power button and volume uh, down button to boot your device into the bootloader mode as you can see just connect it uh, with the pc make sure there are no connection problems now you'll have to open the folder where you have downloaded and extracted the uh, rom so you have to download the zip and extract it i have extracted it okay so you'll get all these files so don't worry you don't have to flash anything manually uh, this is an automatic process you just have to click on this first file flash miui which is a windows batch file executable file just press on that and other process all the process is automatic so that's really nice i'll just keep this in the middle yeah now your device will reboot into fastboot so yeah it will reboot once into the fastboot d so i'll skip this process and let's meet where the device will start booting uh, so guys here you'll see something like this uh, invalid sparse file format and it will wait the screen will uh, just stop for like 5 to 10 seconds so don't worry about that let the uh, process finish itself so yeah don't do anything with the keyboard and try to stop the process or rerun again it might corrupt your device and then you will have to do everything again so just wait so guys uh, we have faced an error here uh, so I think we will have to uh, use some other method here like not the other method you have to format your data again so I'm going to do that and if you also face this uh, let's do that uh, together like the first time I flashed it was really nice the second time I flashed I faced this error now again I flashed and I'm using the phone right now but now as you can see while shooting this is happening so yeah uh, let's uh, let me tell you what to do after this happens so guys if you are on this screen uh, you have to okay it has started auto reboot because the process has ended but don't worry I'll tell you how to okay you have to boot your device into bootloader mode and make sure uh, okay it stays or you know it will auto reboot so some issue okay okay i think it is it is doing good so you have to open command prompt run as admin uh, move to the folder where we have uh, extracted it's not compulsory but it has fastboot so type fastboot dash w so it has uh, you know uh, formatted your data fast put reboot bootloader this will boot uh, into the bootloader mode again i'll show you uh, don't worry if uh, the phone is doing this kind of things it's just uh, i don't know what Again, flash my UI. You have to do this process until you find no errors. Like I have installed this ROM for like three to four times, so I know what to do. Uh, so don't worry about that. Uh, I'll skip the part and I will show you that the error has been resolved. So guys, as you can see, the error has been resolved. 
so yeah just uh, wipe your data using command prompt and it will be fine also guys back up all your, your data first from the internal storage or you know in this process you might lose all your data and then you will blame me but like yeah even after telling this some people will blame me but yeah it's okay i will take the blame because like i forgot to put a disclaimer but i will put it right now in the description and also the comment section i will pin a comment please read that so yeah let's skip this it will take quite a few uh, minutes like four to five minutes so yeah you have to be patient so guys the installation has finished and the command prompt window will close automatically and our device will uh, start to boot and guys my point to include the uh, installation failure video uh, part of the video is that you also guys uh, uh, you guys will also face that and i don't want you guys to worry about that so yeah as you can see here is the script it will also format the data fast boot w and then it uh, just reboots and we have the boot animation too so yep guys the installation has been successful so guys yes uh, just follow the steps if you uh, have any issues regarding installation as you can see formatting the data fixes the errors for the installation so that is it and yep it has booted so quick and so nice so yep that is it for the uh, review of the my ui and also the installation if you guys really like this video on the motorola h20 pro press the like button if not then the dislike button is there also for any feedback and any comments and any issues you are facing you can post it down below in the comment section also the xda thread uh, i think it is there if it is there i will link it you can also go there and post your issues or your comments or your gratefulness there and you can also press thanks to the developer of this rom he is also in the telegram group which if you want to join i will leave a link in the description and yeah that is it uh, for the video for the motorola h20 pro android 14 my ui 6 and that's it if you want to watch more such videos then please subscribe and bye bye see you guys later